Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to the next box opening. Don't worry, a playthrough is coming to this channel very, very soon. <laughs> as soon as I get some time. Typical me, I've got so many projects going on. Let's get started with this one though. You guys voted for four and five equally. That is these two boxes. And because I'm a bit pressed for time, I'm gonna grab the small one. So let's see what's in this one. This is another one that wasn't sticky taped up, so it's probably got more games that I really like as and play often. Oh, it's another joyous box. It's the Eldritch Horror box. So we've got Eldritch Horror, Eldritch Horror, Eldritch Horror. That's a complete Eldritch Horror set in those three boxes. Plus we have a cute little dice cone called Dragon Slayer. It's just a bit of junk really. And we have Taji, which is a game I absolutely love. I have always considered this to be a really light gateway game, but I played it with a friend of mine recently and I thought it was way too heavy. <laughs> this has also got the expansion in it. And I have some Warhammer Invasion stuff. So now the Warhammer Invasion stuff, I have a near complete set of Warhammer Invasion. A lot of it, I haven't even opened the packs for yet. So I, I had a pretty decent collection and then I met someone on Card Game Database selling theirs and I bought their copy. So they gave me a whole bunch of these unopened packs. So it's hard to get a complete set of this because like Call of Cthulhu, this was back when LCG still had rarity. So LCGs nowadays, if you buy a pack, you get three of every card. But in the old days, when you bought a pack, you'd get three of the common cards, two of the uncommons, and only one of the rares. Meaning that to actually get a full set, you need to buy three copies of every pack and you'd have a whole bunch of spares. They later trimmed it down to only need to buy two of every pack, and then they changed it to what people know it now, where you just have the uh, three of every kind. Here's another box for it. This has got even more packs in it. And then I have another, because I got a lot of doubles because I kind of bought his whole collection. And I should have a whole bunch of other packs as well for that. Yeah, in case you forgot, there's a whole bunch of boxes over this side. And there's another stack like that on the other corner of the room, which I won't show you because I've got some other stuff over there that is private. So the new thing I'm gonna do is what I did in the last video is you guys are gonna vote for a box and I'm gonna open an extra box that I choose. And I'm just gonna take the top one of this stack here. I do love the box openings, but I just wanna open them so I can get them on my shelf and start playing them. Ooh, loose cards. Loose Call of Cthulhu cards, that's bad. They must have fallen out of the box somehow. You know what? Someone, when they were stacking these, stacked this box vertically and they fell out of the binders. That's annoying. We have the FFG version of Merchant of Venus. This is a fantastic game. I should play this on the channel. Add that to the list. <laughs> and now I've got more binders of cards. So this is Call of Cthulhu. And my guess is that this is, this is uh, number 16. Oh God, I love this game. Just looking at the cards makes me happy. 16, they go here. Yonk. So, what else is here? We've got more Call of Cthulhu cards. More Call of Cthulhu cards. More Warhammer Invasion cards. More Warhammer Invasion cards. Okay, that's a pretty damn good bunch of boxes, especially because it's got my Coil Cthulhu cards in it, which I absolutely love. I, I believe it's arguably, in my opinion, maybe the best, in the, in the running for best or second best game of all time. The other one is Middle Earth, which is an amazing Lord of the Rings game. That's quite rare, I think. And of course the LCG, the Lord of the Rings LCG is also fantastic. 
But yeah, lots of good gas in this one. We've got the Elgic Horror series. We have Merchant of Venus. Little dice game. This game is just a piece of rubbish, really. I don't know where this came from. I bought it off on a Kickstarter for like five bucks. <laughs> Back when Kickstarter first came out, a lot of people were doing these really tiny games that cost almost nothing. So it was like five bucks and then like three or four bucks to mail it. So this was like seven, eight dollars. So I thought, why not? And uh, Taji, which I think is a fantastic game. Plus a whole bunch of cards. I'll see you guys. Oh wait, hang on. Don't forget to vote and I'll see you guys next time.